Hello. So this is the first video in a new series of videos I'm doing within my YouTube channel, which is all about paintings in our home and aspects that we uh, need to consider or think about uh, when we're placing uh, art and paintings on walls in our home. And uh, this first video is all about the difference it makes when you put a painting onto a light wall versus a dark wall. Um, and how that influences and affects the mood and feel of the painting. And that's actually quite fascinating. And uh, in these videos, in this first video, uh, I'm going to be sharing my own paintings in these different settings in order to uh, facilitate discussion about the various uh, things I'm talking about. Now, behind me here uh, on the wall, uh, you'll see one of my paintings, uh, which is uh, one of my Summer Moors paintings. It's painted on wood on cradle panel and float framed, and it's 50 centimetres square. And this one is, as you can see, it's on a light wall. And this one is called uh, Two Sides to the Story. And it's all about that when you get up on the moors, uh, in the summertime when the heather is in flower, that wonderful contrast you get between the purple rigid heather and the wafting uh, golds and buff colours of the grasses. And although you can't see it from uh, the distance uh, here, um, there's lots of texture in this painting and uh, aspects of the grasses and the movement uh, that when you're close up, you, you really do see. Um, and I'm going to also share that on uh, a dark wall so that you can see the difference it makes to the mood of the painting. And in this series, I'm going to share lots of different um, thoughts about paintings in the home uh, that will include uh, the difference between, you know, what the, the painting is actually on, whether it's on wood, as in the case of the painting behind me or on paper or on uh, canvas. Um, and I'll be sharing all of these in context of my own paintings and talking a little bit about my paintings at the same time. So hopefully that will give you um, real inspiration and food for thought for hanging paintings uh, in the home. So to start with, I'm going to turn the camera around now and I'm going to share with you a series of small heather paintings that are, my work is obviously abstract, so uh, it's not completely representational, but hopefully through the colours and the textures, you'll get a, a flavour for what the paintings are about. And these small ones, uh, there are six of them and they're painted and, and on paper so they're behind glass and I've paint, I've got them in a line and uh, I'll share them here in, in the context of uh, my own home on a white background and then I'll share the dark background and I'm going to share a number of my paintings in that way so uh, without further ado I'm going to turn the camera around and just to mention that these paintings um, will be on my website uh, they are all available and um, please uh, contact me if you're interested uh, in any of them. Okay, so here are the uh, six uh, small uh, heather, heather works on paper and on the light wall I think you know that they're, they're quite dramatic in themselves because of the dark of the purple but I, I quite like them on the light and I quite like them in a line. It almost gives me a feel of walking through the heather by having them in a line like this. Um, so uh, I will just uh, focus on one at a time. So this is banks of heather. This is through the heather. This is the anatomy of heather. This is the geology of heather. This is patchwork moor. And this fin final one is heather and gold. But I think, you know, really what I'm trying to show you, obviously the light is coming through, I'm just walking backwards now. Really what I'm trying to show you is what they look like on that uh, light wall, which is actually, I think, uh, quite uh, effective. And it looks quite different on the dark wall. And the purple wall does really quite effectively connect in with the purple in the paintings. And I think, again, this is quite dramatic, uh, but it works equally, I think. So this is another one of my paintings. And this one is called Into the Valley. And this is uh, quite a, a much larger painting. And this is 50 by 80 centimetres float framed. And this is influenced by the pan my feelings about the panoramic uh, views. I just go up close to it, but obviously I'm sort of really focusing on looking at the what it looks like on the background wall rather than the detail of the painting. But hopefully 
can just share with you some of that detail. OK, I quite like it on a light wall because I think it picks up some of the light uh, in the painting and it's quite a kind of dramatic painting, but it gives it a calmness by having it on the white wall. Um, but equally, I like the drama on a, on a um, darker wall and I'm going to show you that now. So here it is on a rather gorgeous dark blue uh, wall that pretty much matches uh, the, with, the, with the painting. And I think what's clear it, here is that this rather wonderful wall does enable the painting to really stand out and almost look richer. And I think that works really well in this type of room. However, it kind of also depends on what the, you know, what, not only the mood of the painting, it's the mood of the room that you're, the mood you're trying to create within the room. So the previous um, image where I was showing it on the white wall, this same painting uh, down into the valley, that, that was in a in more of a bedroom setting so of course the sort of calm uh, sort of more sort of subtleness um was more important so i think that's you know another thing to consider is the actual um you know what the room is uh, is about what it's being used for and how that kind of um works in with the painting so this is one of my uh, Winter Moors paintings, The Clarity of Calm, and it's 80 centimetres square. And on this dark uh, wall, with the red being picked up with the sofa, it looks really dramatic and, um, you know, sort of quite uh, moody. Uh, and the white, of course, is stands in quite stark contrast. Uh, if, on the other hand, we put it onto a light wall, then it changes quite considerably. And here you can see that the, 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 the painting does in some ways blend in a little bit more. But because of the dark colours on the painting and the richness in the room, you still do have uh, a sense of the drama and the moodiness. So this is one of my Autumn Woods paintings called Autumn's Rich Tapestry. And as you can see, it's got quite a lot of dark, rich colour and therefore I think the light wall works quite well with it because it picks the, there's a lot of uh, drama as it is and the light just kind of gives it a, um, a lighter feel, a lighter touch. And uh, I think it picks up some of the lightness that is in the painting that contrasts with the darks. So I'll just go in closer so that you can see more of it. And it's behind glass, uh, but you can see these wonderful rich golds and reds and burnished colours um, that are so reminiscent of the autumn and the autumn uh, woods. And that's what this uh, painting is all about, Autumn's Rich Tapestry. So I will share it um, on the dark wall, a dark wall so that you can see how that uh, plays out. So here it is on a rather uh, lovely smoky blue wall and as you can see, the blue picks up the blue in the painting. And to my eyes, at least, uh, having it on a coloured wall does seem to bring the painting alive, albeit quite cool. This one, on the other hand, this wall is actually brings out a lot of the rich tones of the painting, the yellows and golds and reds, which I think is more in keeping with the autumn theme of this painting. Uh, and you have to be, I think when you start thinking about paintings in this way, this with this dark uh, frame around it, you have to be careful that you don't choose a colour that makes the painting edge disappear into the wall. So a blue or a, a blacky brown or anything like that would mean that the painting wouldn't have a definitive edge. Uh, and it's interesting to see uh, the difference between the cool uh, colour wall and the warm colour wall. But I think both of these walls seem to bring the painting alive and really seem to enrich uh, the painting. Okay, and to end with, I'm going to go back to the painting that you saw on my studio wall in the beginning, and here it is. Um, it's The sun has gone in, so it's a somewhat colder light, uh, but this is uh, two sides to the story, and I'm just gonna take the opportunity, as well as showing you on the light wall, but to show you some of the wonderful textures and detail in this painting that you couldn't see when it was behind me in the previous shots early on in the video. Um, so there's lots of 
although it's quite a calm painting because there's lots of breathing space, it also has a drama brought about by the strong contrasts between uh, the purple of the heather and the uh, muted buff and gold colours of uh, the grasses and hopefully you can see some of the textures that yeah there. And finally here is the two sides to the story on a darker wall and this is a kind of mauvey colour that fits quite nicely with the colour uh, within the painting and again I think uh, the darkness adds to the drama I think it works quite well I think you can sort of see the contrast very well uh, but I think sometimes it's a personal choice um, and it's interesting to see the differences and how uh, they affect the mood. So I hope that you've enjoyed the video and uh, it's given you some food for thought uh, for the paintings in your own home. And as I said at the beginning, uh, the paintings I show here uh, are all for sale. So please do get in contact if you're interested and I'll put links uh, in uh, the uh, notes. And thanks very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe if you aren't already. And as ever, I love to hear your comments. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.